Hello boys and girls. Welcome to grade 5 and our book 5A. This is Nofil Gattan and today we will go with episode 5 from unit 2, from old to new. We will learn about punctuation in writing composition. First, let's go to our pupil's book and our homework. Page 35, you're supposed to write sentences about Sarah and Nasser's shopping list using the conjunctions but and. Let's see your answers together. Number one, Sarah bought a burger and a Coke, but she didn't buy any apples. Number two, Nasser bought trousers and shoes, but he didn't buy a watch. Excellent, boys and girls. Now, let's move on to the writing part. Remember the rules of punctuation. Rule number one, don't forget the capitalization when needed. Rule number two, don't forget to use the full stop at the end of the sentence. And rule number three, don't forget the question mark at the end of the question. Let's practice together. Punctuate the following sentences. Number one, they will go to Dubai. They will go to Dubai. I'm going to give you a minute to answer. Excellent! They will go to Dubai. The T at the beginning of the sentence, because it's the beginning of the sentence, will go to Dubai. D here is capitalized because it's a name of a city. Dubai. Excellent! and the full stop at the end of the sentence. They will go to Dubai. Question number two. Are you going shopping? Are you going shopping? Are you going shopping? A here at the beginning of the question is capitalized because it's the beginning. And at last we have the question mark because it's a question. All right, boys and girls, before you write, name the following markets and what you can buy from each one. Take a close look and try to name them. And try to find out what we can buy from each one. I'm going to give you a minute. That is correct. The first picture is the fish market where we can buy some fish. The second one is the women's market where we can buy some scarves. The third one is the fruit and vegetables market where we can buy some fruit and vegetables. And the last picture is the gold market where we can buy some bracelets and necklaces. That is correct, boys and girls. Let's move on to the writing rubrics which we consider as teachers checking your answers. Remember the graphic organizer. Answer the given guiding questions using phrases, not words. Remember, phrases, not words. Use the phrases to write complete sentences in your paragraph. State the main idea. Organize your ideas. Add supporting details. Make your last sentence a conclusion. Number two, paragraph again. Use the phrases to write complete sentences in your paragraph. State the main idea. Organize your ideas. Add supporting details and make your last sentence a conclusion. Remember, boys and girls, in Graphic Organizer, we use the pre-writing technique as we said. And explore your ideas and sentences as much as needed and follow the correct format and layout of writing. If it's a paragraph, follow the correct format. If it's an email, follow the correct format. Remember, boys and girls, the grammar is very important and the spelling as well. Your handwriting must be clean and neat and follow the correct punctuation. Tips for writing. Use the correct punctuation marks. Vary your ideas. Write full sentences. Check your spelling. Now, fill in the graphic organizer, then use it to write a paragraph about going shopping. 
The following guide words may help you. Last, amazingly, decide, pair of, fantastic. The words again. Last, amazingly, decide, pair of, fantastic. All right. Questions. Number one. Where did you go shopping? Where did you go shopping? Remember, you answer with phrases, not words. Number two. Who did you go with? Who did you go with? Question number three. What did the place look like? What did the place look like? Number four. What did you do there? What did you do there? Five. How did you feel? How did you feel? Remember, boys and girls, your answers should be in phrases, not words. I'm going to give you a minute. Number one. Where did you go shopping? The Avenues Mall. Number two. Who did you go with? My mother. What did the place look like? Amazingly big with a lot of people. Four. What did you do there? Bought pair of shoes. Question five. How did you feel? Really happy. Now. Let's take a look at the graphic organizer. Let's read the answers again. Where did you go shopping? The Avenues Mall. Who did you go with? My mother. What did the place look like? Amazingly big with a lot of people. What did you do there? Bought pair of shoes. How did you feel? Really happy. Now, let's write a paragraph about going shopping. Remember, boys and girls, the writing tip. Organize your ideas before you begin writing. Question number one. Where did you go shopping? The Avenues Mall. So try to make a sentence, a correct one from this answer. Last weekend, I went shopping at the Avenues Mall. I went there with my mother. The mall was amazingly big and there were a lot of people. We spent two hours shopping. I bought a pair of shoes and my mother bought a bag. We felt really happy. Now, let's read the paragraph about going shopping. Last weekend, I went shopping at the Avenues Mall. I went there with my mother. The mall was amazingly big and there were a lot of people. We spent two hours shopping. I bought a pair of shoes and my mother bought a bag. We felt really happy. That is correct, boys and girls. Now, remember, you do have a homework. Go back to your pupil's book, page 34, and use the graphic organizer to write about going shopping. Few answers are already done for you. Name of the place, 360 Mall. How it looks like, modern. What you did there, bought a dress. How you felt, happy. Try to follow the same graphic organizer as we did previously and write your paragraph perfectly and neatly. Now, we have reached the end of this episode and we learned how to punctuate sentences and how to write short paragraph about going shopping. Thank you boys and girls for watching and see you next time.